Hi, hello everyone. I welcome all of you, all of you to the India Meteorological Department Daily Weather Briefing. Myself, Dr. R. Lawrence, Scientist D. As on today, 1st August 2025, let's see the weather. Heavy to very heavy rainfall observed over the Rajasthan, up to 18 cm over this, uh, Churu district and over Bihar, over the uh, dis Patna district, up, received up to 13 cm. Also, the Himachal Pradesh, Chorai district received the 12 cm and Mehalaya, East Kasai Hills received up to 12 cm. And heavy rainfall received over the sub in West Bengal, Jharkhand, Uttar and Punjab, West Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Maharashtra. In the synaptic conditions, the upper hair cyclonic circulation over East Uttar Pradesh and neighborhood and extends up to 1.5 km above mean sea level. Also, the upper hair cyclonic circulation over sub Himalaya and West Bengal, Sikkim and neighborhood extends up to 9.4 km above mean sea level and tilting southwestwards with high. The upper hair cyclonic circulation over Haryana and neighborhood extending up to 3.1 km above mean sea level persists. The western disturbance as a trough in the middle and upper tropospheric level with its axis at 5.8 uh, Km above mean sea level now runs roughly along longitude of 72 degree east to the north of lat latitude of 32 degree north. The monsoon trough at mean sea level now passes through the uh, Sri Ganganagar, Rohtak, Shagachanpur, Gorakhpur, Darbanga, and then uh, followed by the Sustinigatan, Kanning, and then southeastwards to the northeast of Bay of Bengal and it is above north of the above it's normal. The highlights heavy to very heavy rainfall likely to continue over northeast and adjoining east India during se next seven days with extremely heavy rainfall over sub Himalayan West Bengal, Sikkim, Meghalaya on 2nd and 3rd August also over the Arunachal Pradesh and Bihar on 3rd August. Heavy to very heavy rainfall likely over Tamil Nadu and Kerala during next six to seven days and then subdued rainfall activity likely over central and north peninsula India during next six to seven days. The weather warning for the day one as on 1st August 2025. Orange warning has been issued over the Assam, Meghalaya and then Bihar also over the Himachal Pradesh for the very heavy rainfall activity. Also yellow warning has been issued over the heavy rainfall activity over the uh, West Rajasthan, Haryana, Punjab and then Uttar Pradesh also over the West Bengal, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh and Jargon, Chhattisgarh also over the Tamil Nadu. And strong surface wind warning has been issued over the Lakshadweep and southern, southern Peninsula including Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Royal Sima also over the coastal Andhra Pradesh. The yellow warning has been issued. And for the day 2, that's valid for the tomorrow 2nd August. Red warning has been issued over the Assam, Meghalaya and sub Himalayan, Sikkim region for the extremely heavy rainfall activity. And orange warning has been issued for the very heavy rainfall activity over the Arunachal Pradesh and also over the Bihar. And then uh, heavy rainfall activity, yellow warning has been issued over the Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Haryana and then Uttar Pradesh also over the uh, Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh and Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Strong surface wind warning has been issued over the Lakshadweep and then Southern Peninsula re region. And for the day 3 warning, uh, which is valid for the 3rd August 2025, red warning has been issued over the northeastern states except the NMMT for the extremely heavy rainfall activity. And so orange warning has been issued over the Uttar Pradesh and Bihar and then Uttarakhand also over the Tamil Nadu for the very heavy rainfall activity. And strong surface wind uh, still persists over the southern peninsula for the day 3 also with orange warning, with uh, orange and then yellow warning. And then uh, heavy rainfall activity over East Rajasthan and then Madhya Pradesh also persist with the yellow warning along with the uh, also the Punjab and then Himachal Pradesh for the day 3 activity and for the day 4 well, for the 4th August orange warning has been issued for the very heavy rainfall activity over the northeastern states except the NMMT also over the central India covering the east Rajasthan west Madhya Pradesh and then east and west Uttar Pradesh also covering the Uttarakhand southern, in the southern peninsula Tamil Nadu has been covered for the orange warning for the uh, very heavy ra rainfall activity and yellow warning has been issued for the heavy rainfall activity over the Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and also Punjab and then Haryana also over the Kerala and then South India Karnataka. Day 5 warning, uh, orange warning has been issued over the Arunachal Pradesh for the heavy rainfall activity also over the Tamil Nadu and then uh, West Madhya Pradesh for the very heavy rainfall activity. The remaining yellow warning covered for the uh, heavy rainfall activity along with the thunderstorm lightning and southern peninsula covering for the strong surface wind. And for the day 6, heavy rainfall with the low, low warning, uh, southern peninsula also over the northeastern state and for the central India covering for the Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand and then East Rajasthan, Haryana also over the uh, West Uttar Pradesh and then uh, Madhya Maharashtra and then Marathwada. For the day 6 and similarly for the day 7 also it's covering for the uh, heavy rainfall activity with the 
yellow warning over the southern peninsula also over the northeastern states and then north india and this is the fisherman weather warning the black region covers for the the warning covers for the squally with squally wind with a wind speed of 45 to 55 km per hour gusting to 65 km per hour which is covering the uh, uh, arabian sea especially over the south and then central arabian sea for the all the uh, next five days weather warning also over the bay of bengal uh, uh, squally weather with, with the wind speed of 40 40 to 50 km per hour gusting to 60 km per hour especially covering over the off sri lankan coast for the day one day two day three and day four even for day five fishermen are advised uh, to take care also the impact expected localized flooding of uh, roads water logging in a low lying area and closure of underpass mainly in the urban areas of the above uh, whatever the red color warning has been issued occasional reduction in visibility due to heavy rainfall disruption of traffic in major cities due to water logging in roads leading to increased travel time minor damage to the kacha roads possibility of damage to vulnerable structures also the localized landslide mud sites uh, might be occur damage to horticulture and standing crops in some areas due to the inundation it may lead to uh, river in flooding at uh, some some river catchments so the following action has been suggested check for traffic congestion before uh, your journey starts follow any traffic advice rate issued at uh, in this regard at your local government avoid going to the areas that is uh, water logging problems often stay tuned thank you